Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Dana Kanuki, the director and writer of The Backyard. If you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and click on that video, watch it, and then come back here for the Q&A. Why don't you just uh, tell us a little bit about you and the school you go to and a little bit about yourself. Um, well, my name is Danica Nuki and uh, I go to Cal State Long Beach and I am a film major um, and I just love film. I've wanted to do film since I was really little. Uh, I haven't, I don't think I've ever wanted to do anything else and so I decided to pursue it. I was stubborn, my family did not want me to do it, and then they're like, all right, she's not gonna change her mind, I'm just gonna go do it. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I am a second year, I'm gonna finish my fourth semester, and then I'm gonna have two more years before I graduate. Uh, the reason I made this film, because at Cal State Long Beach, uh, for the film majors, we have two different tracks. One of them is theory and practice, and the other one is narrative production, and under both tracks are different like emphasis, like you can be a screenwriter or an editor or do audio or be a producer and stuff like that. And um, under the narrative production track, there's directing, producing, and cinematography. And uh, that's, I'm interested in being a director, so I wanted to go under the narrative production track, but you have to apply to be in that one. And they only take like a certain amount of people in, into the program every year. And so I made the video because part of my portfolio, my application, was to make a two minute personal video essay about myself, but I couldn't be in it or have my voice in it. They say that every year over like 100 people apply from the film program and about like 40 people get it. Okay, all right, so you're, you're kind of up there. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You know, well, you got through, so. Yeah, so I got in, I got in, part. yeah. Um, so again, if you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and click on that video and watch it, because we're gonna start getting uh, into a little bit, and there'll be definitely spoilers, so. How did you come up with the concept of the film? Uh, I actually had a really difficult time thinking of a concept, because Personally, just as a person myself, I don't really like talking about myself. And so I had to make something about myself. And I don't want to, I don't like talking about myself yeah, or yeah. making things about myself. And so I'm like, I don't know what to do. And and the, also part of the prompt was I couldn't talk about film. And film is such a big part of my life. And I'm like, I don't know what, what about me I could talk about if I don't talk about film. So then uh, I got the idea of what if I do like a memory of some sort and uh, I thought about how I used to play pretend all the time. Uh, I never really played with toys, I was always outside playing pretend and uh, out like in a different world and stuff mm -hmm. and that also helped develop my love for film. So I said, oh, I can do that, I could do it on how I used to play pretend in the backyard but because it like sparked my uh, creativity and imagination, right. which ultimately led to why I wanted to be a filmmaker. If you guys cannot tell, we are in the set of the backyard. Yeah, uh, we're on is, location. We are on location today. Uh, this is actually where we filmed it. I believe it was a couple, what is it now? A couple weeks, a couple months ago that we filmed? A couple months. We filmed it at like the end of January. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the end of January, now it is like the middle of April. Cool. So it has been a while. Yeah. Um, but what were you looking for when you were scouting the different locations? Well, for me, a big thing um, is I wanted to be visually beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, I was more interested in like how it looked. I wanted it to be pretty, pretty much. I was like, I wanted like a... Terrence Malick kind of feel like just beautiful images. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that's what you wanted. <laughs> that's what I want. I mean, you can judge whether they're actually that beautiful. <laughs> so, we'll You'll have to judge me on that. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> but um, so, but really, because it's. I mean, that's correct. Right, not a lot of people have this like right in their backyard. In their disposal. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I've always and I've always wanted to film something in here because mm -hmm. it's really pretty and so. 
really I just wanted it to be sort of like a love letter to like what is out here because it's just it's pretty it's I really just a nature film yeah really <laughs> not yeah. really about anything except for that exactly <laughs> so how did you cast the actors and then how did you cast crew even though it was a, a sh pretty short man yeah, yeah yeah so really my crew was basically me and you on set or on location I guess and then uh, my friend Nick Romo which he edited it and so that's pretty much the crew and then I had two actors right uh, it took me a while to find actors because uh, um, my big thing was I only in I, at first I only had in mind like one only having one girl one mm -hmm. person and then she would just uh, play pretend but then I sent the script out to a bunch of people and like you one of them right. and you're one of the people who are saying maybe you should get like a younger girl to be some right. like the memory like the past tense of it. I was like oh that's great but I'm like I don't know where I'm also gonna find yeah. <laughs> someone who's younger and looks like the older girl because it has exactly. to be the same person mm -hmm. so then eventually I was thinking oh who do I have friends that have sisters and then or like nieces or like little cousins and then eventually I got to um, our friend Ashley from theater in high school she was a student under our class we TA'd in theater we were like student leaders and uh, she had a younger sister uh, Megan who she was always in our plays ever whenever we needed children in our plays she was in our play uh, right Tears uh, and Butterfly yep yep yeah never saw another butterfly in and Tears and, and Promise, Promise. Yep. yep and so I was like oh hey uh, I can use them exactly. and then I contacted them and I'm very grateful that they said yes because we made them run around so much I'm very grateful especially Megan she probably did not realize like the little sister how much I was gonna put her through right. we were right. just <laughs> dressing her up and making her run around and do weird things I'm so grateful thank yes. you we were out there for hours like yeah. all day it so was, like, we shot all day yeah, yeah from yeah, yeah. like 10 a.m. to like when it got dark because we had to get the the sun exactly right and you know we did all natural lighting all natural lighting so <laughs> if, if it's if it's not that beautiful just blame the sun no yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that I think that was a bit difficult but they were really like party they were like troopers on that because mm -hmm. um, it was an all-day thing and, and they were they were really great they didn't complain oh, and yes. they were very compliant and they're really right. like one of the best kind of people to work with right so right, right, happy. right and they I mean they did it on their own free time I mean, they just volunteer they said mm -hmm. yes so 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 <laughs> what would be kind of your tip for somebody who's who's just uh, maybe starting to make short films and they're like okay where am I gonna find a crew where am I gonna find a cast and you know kind of you have to think minimalistic I think mm -hmm. uh, well I think yeah really definitely minimalistic and um, Find, go outreach friends who are interested in doing it and then also make like one person do a lot of things so you don't have to go out and find a bunch of people to do a bunch of different mm -hmm. crew jobs because right. you know you look in the movies now and the credits are like huge and there's so many people but with like a short film like a student film which is a film you want to make on your own you mm -hmm. can't really you don't really have the luxury or the resources to right. find so many people. So really just get your friends who are yes. totally down to do it and then just, you know, it should be fun, really. Right, right, right. If you are in theater, if you are in some kind of video production, you're thing into at photography, school, you can anything. find people. Yeah. Uh, the hardest part about pre production, while well, I had to think of the concept of the script, which I took a long time to think about it. Right. Like, a really long time. I kind of started procrastinating this bad. And then uh, once I got the skirt, the idea, I wrote it out in like a night, which is bad because I didn't rewrite it. I didn't look it over. You always have to do a rewrite. Always look it over. I didn't do that. So if the dialogue is bad, then that's because I didn't do a rewrite. Right. <laughs> and, uh, but I must say that probably the hardest part about pre production was uh, scheduling because I had to make sure that um, everybody had time to right. film on the same day. Uh, production, I would say the hardest part was just dealing with the sunlight and just dealing yes. with just time management in general, making sure we were uh, using like our time wisely and as much as, of it as we can. Um, so we filmed everything in one day, which was good. Mm -hmm. 
lot of times it takes forever to film things. Right, forever. right. So really it was just dealing with the sun and timing and then making sure like I'm not wearing out my actors too much because I need them to stay, you know, sharp and on character and still, you know, willing and energetic. And the hardest part about uh, post-production is, uh, at least for me, because uh, then I get to, I have to look at all the footage yes. and then I'm constructing it. And really, this is the part where what we're going to make is what it's going to be. And so it's really, for me, the hard part is like being so critical and analytical and just sort of oh no 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 it has right, to be right, right, like right. this and like this and um, the editor Nick Romo he was great uh, he we just literally spent a whole day like a whole day sitting in front mm -hmm. of a laptop editing and right. he was he's really nice because I was literally over his shoulder and like no, no no this like this like this like this and then I'm also really bad because I don't think like an editor mm -hmm. and so I didn't really like have a shot list for him already all planned out or anything like that. So then he, I kind of like, you we kind of just explained it to him. Yeah, like, sort of in scratch. So I wasn't as like organized and prepared for like him. Right, right. So really that was probably, so I learned a lesson. I'm like, okay, I need to be, I need to keep track of what I want in my film and have a shot list, especially like even when we were filming to make sure that we got everything that we needed. Just right. so learn to be more organized because I'm, I'm sort of frantic and all mm -hmm. over the place. When you actually get down to it, the, the writing part is like one of the hardest parts, but then when you're shooting, it's like, no, this is the hard it, part. Because yeah. you know, you can think of a you can think of an idea, and obviously the script is going to be very important. But when you get out on the field, yeah, and when it's such like a minimal crew, a minimal cast, it's like whatever you have at the end at post, that is it. Yeah, and so really in post production is where the magic happens. Is where we try to take what we got and make it something good. <laughs> right, I mean, yeah. it's definitely not um, the perfect, like your most ultimate, I'm guessing your most mm -hmm. ultimate vision. Uh -huh. um, but I, I think for what we had and the time we had and the resources, yeah. it came out pretty nice. I'm, I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy yeah. with it. And uh, of course, like you watch it, judge for yourself. You should comment on the video and then let me know what you like and didn't like. Cause I, I love con constructive criticism. I, I want to learn and grow. But yeah, uh, for what we got and what happened and the whole process. I'm just, I really enjoyed it and I was really happy about it. So. Right, right. If you guys are kind of on a film set and you are um, the director and writer, and I'll, and I'll get to this question, but if you are the cinematographer, something you have to know is how to um, communicate with your director because a lot of the times maybe you're seeing something through the camera lens that the director can't see. You know, and if you think, hey, we should try out this shot or something, um, you and your you and your director should kind of have like a rapport where it's like, okay, let's try this, or why do you think that'll look good? And then yeah, yeah. kind of basically have that communication going on. Um, me as the cinematographer, I've done a couple of things, but they've all been for me. It, it hasn't been for like somebody else. Yeah. So I know like when I watch the video, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I could have done this way better, you know? Yeah. But it's it's just like a learning thing for me. So. So as the director and the writer, um, do you feel like you learned something very important for your next project, whatever that may be? Yeah, I definitely, um, I mean, working with you is great. We're like best friends. I mean, right. we've worked on a lot of stuff together, yeah. <laughs> really. And so with you, I know, I know that you're going to tell me like this looks good or this right. doesn't look good. And then you know that I'll tell you Oh, this you looks need to good. Change this. Or I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. So we have already that open communication, which I think is just good for when you work with anyone on a film set, right. like your editor, you know, anybody else, mm -hmm. because really, uh, film is a collaborative effort, and the open communication is really where all the good stuff happens. Right. Because you might think you know what is good, but then someone else has an idea, and you're like, whoa, that's even better. Yeah. Or you kind of go off of each other so mm -hmm. that definitely is like one of the greatest parts because yeah. I, I I remember when I uh, read the script and in my head you know you're gonna read something and it's two different ways yeah. um, and so when I read it 
I'll do it like her way. I'll say, how do you want this shot set up? And then I'll be like, okay, this is how this is how I saw it. Let's do both. And then she'll have both um, both videos in her footage, so that way she can take it when we when when she edits. Yeah. So she'll have all of that footage uh, for herself. So that's one of the great parts about you know working with somebody who can tell you the truth and tell you how they feel about things. Yeah. You know, don't work with somebody who's gonna just m want to please you, because yeah. uh, that's not gonna work. But then also don't work with someone who's like, oh, only it's only my right. way. Right, 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 right. You have to be open and you have to, yeah. Be flexible with, you know, because it's, it's, I mean, it's her project, you know. You're not stepping over, it's her thing, but then you want to make sure it's the best that she can do, so. Yeah, exactly. And also, but everybody's name's on it. So really, right. everybody's thing, because, you know, the shots that are there, I mean, you film, so it's, Mm -hmm. You and then the sequences of the shots is my editor, so right. his name is all there. So really, it it's, really is collaborative. Yeah, film is like <laughs> one of the most collaborative art forms. Like yeah. pretty, I think it pretty much is. But um, you know, tell us a little bit about what you're working on next or different projects that are in the making. Anything that's happening? Uh, I'm writing a script right now. Actually, uh, I'm almost done with it, pretty much. I just have like the last scene to go through and I kind of already wrote the last scene out and so now I just kind of have to like add it on to it, edit it in, and I just have to rewrite, because rewriting is important, and I have to go through that. And I really, it's for a class, a screenwriting class I have. It's mm -hmm. for like a final in that class, but I, I've had the idea since uh, high school and so I want to when I was writing the script, I'm like, I'm writing it because I eventually want to film it. Mm -hmm. So that's really what I'm writing. So I'm working on that right now. I know we definitely have scripts together that we've written uh, yeah. that just never really came to fruition. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're always still in the making. Exactly. Um, I have a lot of scripts I just start and then I never look right. at Right, <laughs> right, right, right. And those are always like the ones where it's like, man, I really want to make this, but maybe you don't really have like, all the resources for that. Yeah, we made it. We wrote like a pretty ambitious one. Yes. <laughs> this we had like this film noir one. It's it was pretty ambitious. Like we had a lot yeah. of scenes and actors and sequences. I'm like I don't know how we could do this. Right, but we were ready to <laughs> yeah. film it. Yeah. We were like, okay, we're gonna get real actors. Yeah, real yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna get auditions. We're gonna schedule this out and yeah. <laughs> have a budget. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> um, and that's that's kind of the one of the hard parts too. If you're like do if you're. Um, doing short films if you were like a student filmmaker and stuff like that it's kind of hard because you have all these maybe great ideas and then you don't have everything to actually make it um yeah. and if you do then get started what are you waiting for yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> and then link us to them exactly just say uh, hire me right right we will definitely come in uh, yeah. and help you out so we will do that um, how have you grown as a all-encompassing director, writer, producer, actor, cinematographer, what, like everything. How have you grown in the film world? How have I grown? Uh, I think I've just, through school and just actually getting out there, because we went on and we did our um, PA jobs and actual right. shoots, and then actually like doing a video that's not like some weird high school video right, right. or something. <laughs> like actually doing stuff, I think has just taught me a lot more about the actual process of it mm -hmm. because we've always had an appreciation of film and the art of film and just right. good movies in general. But then now I actually can understand and appreciate more how much effort it takes to make a film. I already knew it takes a lot of effort, but now I know. Yeah, now it's like, okay, and... And I'm yeah. like more in love, I'm like yeah. yes. This is what I want. Yeah, I think if people like go into, like I, everybody who wants to do film or whatever, start with being a PA and if you can't even handle like the like pressure, that, yeah. yeah, then, then because it's it's really not like, it's really it's not, not red carpet. It's not glamorous gram. at all. No, it is so like down and dirty, rugged, like just like. Gross, I, sweat, yes. around. Fecal matter in the back. Oh my gosh, so much fecal matter. I did so old. I didn't even know that you guys <sighs> had to wash you, my hands so many times. You don't know how, especially <laughs> as a PA, you get the dirtiest jobs. Yeah, you get the jobs no one wants to do. Right, and so it's kind of just like, you have to be willing to do it. I mean. Yeah, and we also did it like, we weren't paid, we volunteered. Oh yeah, to do it. 
Yeah, so yeah, if you really want, if you're like on the fence about do I really want to do film or something, definitely like try to find like a student film to PA on and something like that. Right. And volunteer at and then get a taste. Yeah, get a, okay. get a taste of what you want to do. Yeah. And even the first one that we did was the actual like a NIFA student film project, but that one was kind of a little bit better than I it was thought. better than I thought. There's like a whole. It was a. It wasn't even a student film. That one was like a for real feature film yeah. trailer. I mean, like, cause the second day they had like that. Jib, jib crane. Oh yes, they had this huge crane in there. Yeah, this camera just like flying around doing like three hundred, like three hundred and sixty yeah. aerial degree shots of these. It was it was crazy, but also that's why I was like, okay, y'all must have some money because yeah. I don't I'd have to we like don't, yeah we we'd be on a ladder with the camera upside down. <laughs> we did actually one of the shots. Of, oh, yeah. one of the shots in the film. I really use a little bit of it because right. the rest it was of it was just... so bad. She's like going like this in the sun. We pretty much took the tripod, me and you were holding it up, and we were going like this with the camera over her. And that, <laughs> it was so right. bad. We just used like this. Yeah, what we should have we should had somebody recording us record like film yeah. because <laughs> like just the things you have to do to try to get one shot when you don't have like the equipment is so funny. But then it's like it's like guerrilla filmmaking yeah, style. Exactly. So it's I think it's fun. It's fun to find new ways to like like be creative and just DIY right, everything. Right. And so maybe I'll do a thing on that like all the DIY things. All you this know? That she has. Yeah, you so guys can't much stuff see, but it's right just <laughs> um, and that's I don't know. It's way more fun. To like buy to like make things and just go out and buy them and less expensive. Less expensive. I mean, if they work, if you're just get, kind of getting a cheap version of something, you know, then whatever. But if it works, it works. Um, also, we should have done that video about the PA workout. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, because at the one of the days on our shoots, I for you had to go run out and do something, and then I got put on a just truck duty because the the light, the key grip, and like. Um, the lighting and yeah, yeah. all that. All of them, they had like this truck with all of their like equipment inside. Right. And we were in downtown Los Angeles and like they had a park in front of the nice hotel apartment building mm -hmm. that we were filming in. And, but that's like a loading, unloading zone. And so I had to be there to make sure, you know, no one comes steal stuff or like gives the truck a ticket right, or anything right. like I'm there. So literally while I was waiting there and then once you joined me, we were literally just doing <laughs> squats and like doing steps and yes just we're at the pretty much whatever to pass time for that yeah. that period you can follow danica on instagram if you guys want to see her back on my channel uh leave a comment down below so that way she knows also leave a comment go watch that video and just kind of uh yeah tell me how you think there i want to know your opinion tell me she wants to know <laughs> so so definitely leave some comments like this video um and definitely just just come back and see what we have going on next and hopefully you guys can and other things so yeah any closing remarks had fun yeah yeah